Hey guys, welcome to Trading with Dan. I am your host for this video, Dan. So today we are going to set up um, from scratch an automated trading bot on free commas that is going to trade our dominator indicator. So I'm going to show you our dominator indicator first and then I'm going to show you basically the full setup of how I'm going to set it up from scratch to my three commas account. So this is the dominator indicator under here. So as you can see, we get buy signals, sell signals, buy signals, um, etc. It is it is a wave um, that um, moves based on how how the price is how the price is moving, price action, um, and then we get buy and sell signals. So it'll always be a buy signal, a sell signal, a buy signal. So if you want to look back to see how it works. Um, we're in a bit of a consolidation consolidation zone here, but you can see we get a buy signal here, um, but the market doesn't really go anywhere. We get a sell signal up here um, on this candle here, which um, obviously was quite a good sell because we did come down, but it's, it's not a massive move. Um, then we've got a buy signal down here, um, and the market obviously went all the way up to there. Um, we had a sell signal about here. I mean, the market did generally come down. Um, it did spike up, take us offside, but market generally came down um, a buy signal here that didn't work out that well but um, no strategy is perfect you can have some losers um, and then we had a, a sell signal here um, which pretty much was on side I mean if you took it off and um, where we got the buy you just had a slight loss um, we had a buy signal here um, so the market didn't really move that much there um, and then we had a a great sell signal here um, at this level here um, and that this one here this is a sort of move we're trying to capture we're basically trying to capture bigger moves with this um, indicator so this all the way down to where we actually flipped to a buy um, was a, a nearly a, nearly a 10% move so that is a reason we are setting this up because we want to capture the big moves we're not necessarily we are going to chop we are going to um, like either make a little bit or lose a little bit whilst we're chopping whilst we're in a chop zone but you'll see once we get to a good move, uh, a big move, we um, we get quite a bit of price action. And then before that, we had a great buy here, um, and then we got well, obviously we got the sell, we got the sell here. But um, we are the bot is going to have um, risk management features where we'll have a trading take profit. So I mean we pretty much went in a straight line from the buy on the dominator, so from here to that to up there, which would have been a which would have been a three point a three point six profit, but but we will have a trading stop loss in here, so we'll capture that in and take us out of the trade. Um, and yeah, so then we had a we had a sell signal there that didn't really do too much. A buy signal here, um, it took us up a little bit, and a a sell signal here, which well we did we did come a bit lower, so we would have made money on that trade. Um, a great buy signal here. Um, around here and then we came off offside a little bit first i mean we went from what 9800 to around 9600 but then we went up to 10300 so you can see from roughly where we where we got the buy-in that was about a five percent up move um bigger than the move the offside move um and then we got a sell in the dominator this is a great sell we got a sell here um, so just before this price dump, which was basically an immediate 5% dump, and it did proceed to go lower, we did stay in the sell there. Um, so depending on how you're managing the risk, whether you're having a trade and take profit, to take the profit. But you can see we came down quite a lot. So that is the overview of the performance of the indicator for the last few trades. Um, right, so first, firstly, we're going to go over to three commas. So this is my three commas here. These are the current bots that I have, the two that I've got active. Um, we're actually running these two on a 15 minute DMT chart, um, which if you guys see my videos before, you'll know know about that. These are the deals for that, just, just out of interest so you, if you wanted to have a look. So on the 15 minute deal um, DMT, this is the closed deal profit, the total amount in US dollar. Um, and then if we go into our deal history, here we go, here's the deals. So we've had 10 deals, 10 completed deals so far. We had a loss, a win. This was a break even, a win, a loss, a win, a win. Basically, that's a break even, a win, and a win. So you can see that's doing well for us so far. So that is excellent. So I do basically want to diversify it into the Dominator um, bot as well to also trade Bitcoin. Um, so what I've had to do, I've had to basically set me up 
a new bitmex because we're going to be trading the same contract so i've got the bitmex one for dmt and then the bitmex two for dominator so we're going to be connecting to this exchange here um right so um so to create a bot we're going to go to click on here do you say bots we're going to create the bot so this is going to be connected to our dominator um our dominator and this is going to be the the bitmex2 dominator uh bitcoin long bot so you don't have a choice of simple or composite this is the pair we're going to use here the xbt usd which is the bitcoin contract this is going to be the long bot um, we're going to start off with a percentage of the account size um, quite small so we're going to start off with 25% of the account size but don't don't forget we are this is one we're testing this at the moment um, and two um, we will be taking trades on the other account as well which is all linked all linked to this all linked to our bot trading strategy so we'll have a larger position size that will potentially be taken in the same direction maybe not at the same time in the same price but these two bots do tend to, to get the same directional signals so we will um, have um, basically the similar trades on um, so we're gonna the safety order size can be it can be anything but we're not because we're not going to actually use safety orders so the market to start the order we're gonna actually use a limit order um, leverage type we're just gonna go to 10 leverage because where we're gonna have our stop that is gonna cover us anyway uh, with 10x leverage um, our stop is going to be um, beyond the liquidation price so our in our um, deal start condition is going to be trading view custom signal because remember we're going to use our signals for our dominator so we're going to go for a target take profit of uh, 2% and um, and we're going to have the trailing take profit on and the trailing deviation is going to be um 1.5 percent um 1.5 we'll leave it at 1.5 for the time being the stop loss we're going to have a stop loss which is going to be um 2.5 percent and that is going to close the deal if we hit the stop loss um, just ignore this. We'll change that in a minute. Stop loss time up trade trading stop loss. We are going to um, We'll have the trading stop loss um, No, we won't have the trading stop loss on um, So the max safety accounts we're gonna have zero so then that's fine now with our stop loss uh, Maximum active zero so we're not having that price deviation. I mean this doesn't matter because we're not having these on anyway, so um, And then we're just going to ignore the rest of this that we've got going on here um, so that is basically just so I'm going to go through and double check this so we've got this as a long bot base order size 20% of our of our account size and um, this doesn't matter we're not using that we're going to enter trades in a limit um, leverage type custom custom signal that's um, target trade profit 2% trading deviation 1.5% trailing that's the trading on stop loss on 2.5% close the deal at the 2.5% we're not having the stop loss limit timeout and um, I'm undecided on the trading stop loss. We will put it in for the time being, um, and then we will decide decide what happens what happens with that. Um, so, um, yeah, we'll just get rid of these. I mean, we don't we don't have these safety orders, so I'm not too sure why it has it. So I I stop this 2.5 percent. Yeah. Um, right, the bot can leave at least some safety orders. Uh, yeah, so that doesn't matter because we're not having we're having zero safety orders, so it's fine. So, all that's set up, we're going to create the bot. So just click create the bot. It's taking its um, taking its time today. We can click start on this bot because the trading view signals aren't set up um, to connect to it yet anyway. So um, it's not going to um, do any trades whilst we're um, setting it up. So now we're going to set up the short bot. So we're going to create a bot. We're literally doing exactly the same, but for short this time. So um, if we click short here, it may go here to short bot. If we click Bitcoin there, it may turn to Bitcoin. So um, we change this account to Dominator. There we go. There's our name, Bitmex2 Dominator XBT USD short bot. Excellent. Um, that's the exchange. That's the contract. That's the direction. Percentage of percentage of BTC account size, the percentage of BTC, ten percent there. Um, we're gonna enter on a limit order, leverage type, uh, custom ten. We just have that at ten. 
um, deal start condition trading view custom signal target check take profit two percent trailing on trading deviation 1.5 percent stop loss on stop loss 2.5 percent close the deal stop loss timeout no trade it's training stop loss we had decided to have that on didn't we uh, maxed safety order count zero zero these don't matter um, right so that should all be set up that's all what we need for this bot excellent I'm just double checking this right so create the bot start the bot bot is turned on right excellent so now we are going to go um, to um, basically set up, set up these bots and um, set up the actual signal that's going to make it trade so what we're going to do we're going to go over to our uh, Bitcoin 25 minute chart here um, so what we are now going to do is set up an alert so we're going to set the alert up the alert is going to be triggered on the dominator going long this is for the long bot we're going to go once per bar once per bar um, we'll do once per bar this because it's a limit order anyway so once per bar um, we're going to put the expiration um, as far out as we can. We can't click open ended because we don't have the pro account. Not the pro account, the pro plus account. We have the pro account. Um, and then this is where we're going to have to type the message that's going to activate our bot. So the message, we actually going, we're actually going to compose in here because we can test our messages correct um, by putting it in here. So we are going to go to three commas here. So this is for the short bot so the message for the deal start um, so what we're actually going to do sorry this is for the short bot so these are the commands for the short bot so what we're actually going to do though is we are going to set up the long bot first but for, to set up the long bot we actually do need the short bot um, to close um, its trade if it was in a short bot so we're going to copy this here so this is going to first off you just assume that we are potentially in a short trade in a short trade um so we're going to have to sh close that short trade to then open the long trade so i hope you guys understand what i mean there so whilst we're on the short bot here this is going to be our short our trade um to close our potential long tr short trade if we're in one so it's going to close order at market price so if we have a short trade open this is our short bot is going to close that trade so we're now going to go over to the long bots so we're going to go to my bots again my bots we're going to go over to the dominator long bot now we're going to scroll down to this is going to start message for deal start so we're going to click on this and um, copy that put it into our json formatter so we're going to put it just here And this is going to start um, start our bot basically. Um, so yeah, so we're going to have a delay. Um, so there is going to basically be a a delay um, from when we're going to actually put the limit orders in to make the buy um, on the long bot because what we are wanting to do is make sure we closed the short bot position first we're going to give it five seconds that's all it will need for it to market close the position of the short bot if we're in a short trade and then it will then put the limit orders in after five seconds to open up the long the long trade so we're going to hit process here to check that this is valid so yep it's saying this is valid so what we're going to do we're going to copy this text go over to our message here paste that in and that is the correct message that is going to shut down our potential short trade um, open up a long trade and basically put the limit orders in to enter into the position when the dominator go clicks to a buy so remember we've got the long there so now we're gonna click create this um, I don't know if you guys know about the webhook URL but this is what you have to type in um, so it will send that command to um, three commas so you have to click on the web hook click on that and then type in the address which is this will be the same for everybody but your bot id obviously then will command your bot so we're going to create that so you can see now that this is going to come up here in a second 
and there it is so that's the um bitcoin usd um 25 minute um bot that will open up when we get a buy trade and if we are in a sell trade then it will close the sell trade and then put us in a buy trade um so right so that's that one done so now we're going to have to do the opposite so which is the short bot so if we're going to do the short bot this is the long bot commands for the long bot we're going to assume that we will be in a short trade so we're going to have to close the long trade which is this one here this command will close our long trade so we're going to copy this into our json formatter here um and that is going to be the order to close our long trade at market at market uh, price so we're going to go back to our bots and we're going to open up the short trade oh sorry <laughs> open up the short bot so we're going to the short bot and then this is what's going to open our trade on the short bot so then we're going to type copy this one into here like that and put a delay again of five seconds process to check this is right this is correct copy all this and now we're going to put this into our alert for the short bot so we're going to create the alert for the short so we're going to go to set alerts dominator um this date is fine um that webhook url this is the message and let's just change this to short because remember this is a short bot and then once per bar right so that is that is now done so we are going to click create that and then we've created that will that will come into here in a second and now we created the short bot for dominator also so that is now all set up and running and good to go um i'm trying to think if there's anything else i need to tell you with this um you can see um if we go to our, our bots now um the bots here are active um the bitmex dominator long bot bitnex bitmex dominator short bot um the same trading take profit two percent is the level 1.5 percent trading 25 25 base order size safety order is 10 percent but we're not actually going to use that we're not using any of the rest of it um so that is all set up and ready now so we can see how how we're going to get on it looks like we may potentially get a short trade just here um so that will obviously put us in a short trade we are still waiting we are trading bitcoin the d on the dmt bot and the 15 minute chart which will enter a short trade itself if we close above this um basically this 8665 area which we've touched it twice um but we haven't actually broken it yet it does look to be forming a, a some sort of a descending triangle so potentially if we break that we could have a swift move down um but obviously that's only um what you could say is a more likely outcome and not necessarily um what is actually going to happen so there we go we have created our dominator long bot our dominator short bot with the right commands to trade this signal to trade this indicator the dominator indicator and then and then see if we can see what profits we get I, am i going to do the the videos the daily update videos like i do for you guys with with both these bots now not just the dmt one which i normally do um so yeah so i hope that was um insightful for you guys i hope it was informative i hope if you were setting the bots up yourself that did help you if you do want to get this dominator indicator um then my telegram and discord links are in the description so you can contact me um if you do want to set up a three commas um i also do have a referral link in there which i would be grateful if you guys um did choose to use that um it's just a way that you can support this channel um at no cost to yourself um so yeah so any questions feel free to put them in the comments and i will um get get answering them for you um yeah and like and subscribe to the channel for my other updates um so yeah finally remember this is not a financial advice i'm not a financial advisor always do your own research um trading can be risky um so yeah so be careful out there guys and i will speak to you guys soon